um, declare eu cou, eu não sei o that today started a on the 27th, 2024, we launched officially the book of Luke in the community. Amazina ni muhire nzuba hamba hai kaze mwese mwe mudukurikira kandi mudukunda aha duherere ni muri leta zunze mwe za America giye umwe hari ko muri state ya Kentucky aho twagiye kukurikirana umuhango ndetse n'igikorwa cyo gutangiza ku mugaragaro bibiliya isobanuwe mu rurimi rw'ikinya murenge aha duherere ni Louisville aha ngaha abanyamurenge bafashe initiative yo kwandika Bible bayandika mu rurimi rw'ikinya murenge ni yo muhango twaje gukurikira hatwe nk'abanyamakuru turahari kugira ngo tubakurikiranire umuhango umwanya kundi ndetse igikorwa ku kindi buryo byatangiye murabona ko hano inyuma yacu igikorwa cyatangiye ndetse batangiye banatwereka filme cyangwa se uruhererekane rwa filme ikozwe muri rimwe rw'ikinyamurenge no kuvuga ngo rero byose turabikurikirana turagenda tubazanira abatumirwa bagiye batandukanye kugira ngo bagende babahereza amakuru ndetse batubwira impamvu yatumye bafata uwo mwanzuro ndetse ni gahunda ndetse n'imbogamizi bagiye bakurikirana murakoze cyane imana baho mugisha pastor ruganza uza kuserukira nehemaya pastors association and we have pastor ruganza who are representative of nehemaya association of pastors and then we have a representative from Mahoro Association. There will be around the corner. So uh, we are going to welcome uh, Pastor Tim Hester. He is the representative of South East here. Let's clap for them because they did an amazing thing supporting this project. My name is Tim Hester. Is it I got any cut my Hester? And I am one of the executive pastors here at Southeast Christian Church. And I'm also an elder here. I welcome you on behalf of our elders and our senior pastor. Kyle Eidemann, who's our pastor. Couldn't be here today, he was out of town. But we are so grateful you're here and we are honored by your presence. I personally am very honored and humbled to be a participant today and to witness this historic event. I have two reasons why. First, the vision of our church is to unleash the full force of the church to love people one at a time. So, there's no greater way to unleash people than to give them the word of God that tells the story of how God loves them. The second reason I'm honored to be here it's very simple. God's word changed my life. And now, it can change the lives of the Banya Milange people. Southeast has partnered with PBT over the years to address many different languages. But this particular language is very meaningful to us because many members of our congregation speak this language. 
So I'd like to say thank you to several groups of people. To Pioneer Bible Translators. So China Bible uh, Translate. Thank you for rallying the church to get the Bible to people who don't have it in their language. It's hard to come up with a greater goal. And thank you for raising up leaders from our congregation and from other churches and from the local areas which this Bible translation to the Banyamalenge people thank you for your joy so thank you and thank you for your faithfulness to the gospel. Your example of holding on to Jesus during very difficult times is very inspirational. Your joy reminds us of what worship should look like. And your commitment to pray and your practice of prayer challenges us to think about if we're really relying on God's strength or our own. We've grown in our faith because you've modeled the way. Please keep modeling the way. Thank you for your commitment to understand and to learn and to obey God's word. And thank you for deeply desiring to have God's word in your language. And thank you for persevering. To the Bani Malenge translation team, many of you have prayed for most of your life for scripture to be in your language. Today is the beginning of the fruition of that prayer. A few of you have been part of the translation and you've given very sacrificially of your time without reward. But your sacrifice will live on in the lives of people for an eternity. And to everyone else that's present here, it's an honor for us to be a small part of this work. I would encourage you to continue to pray and to continue to invest your lives for the continuance of this work. And may God's word go forth. Greetings, my name is Jeremy. Now the Grims are leading this team with PBT that serves refugees across America. Thank you. We have projects in six cities. But this project has always been special to my heart. I was there with Victor when we had these first conversations and this project was a war. And in that moment, this project made history. This is the first project launched on refugees in USA that started right here at home in America. And as God would have it ordained, this is PBT's 100th project to launch ever in history. And so you are making history. 
And God has chosen your people to make this history. And I think I have an idea and a reason guess why. As the eyes of God roam the earth, He sees your people. He sees your pain. He sees the suffering. He hears the cries of people in Menemwe. He, he sees the tears and the bloodshed of your people. And God says, watch me make this pain into something beautiful. God says, God says watch me take this pain and bring good news and this book of Luke is the very first step. So we thank you for being part of this history. And God is using you. And I believe God will use you and the church in Menemwe to bring peace to Menemwe. Amen. That as your people hear these words, lives will be transformed. Hearts will change. And we dream with you the violence will one day stop. And we pray for this peace and we pray for you. May God bless you. Hello everyone, my name is JR. Uh, I bring greetings on behalf of Pioneer Bible Translators. My role is to be able to share with other churches in the States what is going on with our translation projects. And just as Jeremy was sharing that this being the 100th project that we've been able to start, it is my privilege to be able to carry the story of the Banya Malenge people to churches here in the States so they hear about your people and the need for scripture in your language. It's, it, it is strange to me, like Pastor Tito was sharing, that, that he has met some people that believe that the scripture had kind of fell from heaven. There are many American churches that believe everyone already has the scripture. Because there are so many translations already in English. They believe that everyone already has the scripture as if it's already fell from heaven for them. But, but what we know is that is not true, correct? My, my oldest son is, is 14 years old. It's been said that amongst the Bible translation organizations, the last translation project will start in 2033. 2033. The year 2033. The newest? The, the last translation project okay. overall. So, the last translation project overall. the year 2050. Yeah, the year 2050 is 26 years from right now.
That means my 14-year-old son will be the same age that I am right now in 26 years. What's so monumental about today is not just the fact that we are dedicating the book of Luke to the Banya Malange people. We are ripping the Banya Malange people from the hands of the devil right now. And the greatest part for me personally is that my grandchildren will only be able to learn about Bible as people in a textbook. Because in 26 years, when my oldest son brings his family to my house, I can't wait to recount to my grandchildren all of the people who now have the Bible, just like the Banya Malenge people are getting the Bible in your language. Thank you for allowing me to share the Banya Melenge story with churches here in the U.S. May God take that story, plant it deep in the hearts of churches, and more churches be involved, just like Southeast has done so much for the monument. Thank you. Thank you. Christ. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Yeah. My name is Claire Smitham. And I am the chief legal officer at PBT. And on behalf of PBT, our president, Greg Pruitt, and the board of directors, we are so excited to celebrate this historic moment with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It is an honor and a privilege to worship alongside you. Listening to your beautiful language. Isn't God faithful? Yes. Yes. And so now, if you will stand with, with me, I would like to share a blessing over you and your people and your language. From our president and from PBT. May God the Father pour out the full measure of his spirit so and reveal the full scope of his glory as your people encounter his word and their language through Jesus Christ the word made flesh Amen. Amen. Yes, hallelujah. Amen.
Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, una shimi. Praise God. Uh, I am going to ask you a little bit. This is the history moment or the history day. So the uh, French said that the days comes after, but it doesn't look like. This is a special day, never look like any other day. We've never been forgetting in our uh, lifetime. And also, this only came from God. I'm going to ask everybody to stand up. We're going to clap all of us. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much, you may see. It's very good. Praise God. Why? We have God who does things on his own time. Time, our time and God's time are not matching at all. Sometimes we do evaluation through our own time. When we see that it doesn't happen like where we plan down, and we think that this is over, but that time God is still working through it. I praise God that he worked with the weak and do the big thing. God who you serve is a faithful God. God keep you strong and expand you. And God use you in a mighty way that you can go and transform even the earth. So we thank the PBT for what you have done in to reach the day like this. God bless you. And God opened the heaven gates for you guys. So before maybe I come back to people, let me uh, 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 thank Apostle Gitwaza. He was the first. He took the first step to support this project to move forward. God bless him. Let's thank those people who in a team of translation. Team who was here. John. So John. You see Eddie, Catherine and Denise. Pastor Tit. Pastor Pastor Philemon. Pastor Pastor Robert. Our sister Noela, our daughter Noela as well. Please, if you can stand up one more time. The heavenly mind give you blessing. God extend all your thing. Let me address this to our community. 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 We are the first beneficial for this project. Did you see where it was very uh, joyful and sweet when they were reading in the Kenya language? It was very beautiful. 
You are beneficial for this project. But in order that these things, these good things can reach you guys where you are, it's, it's the people who sacrifice themselves. It's those who just uh, show. They sacrifice their time. Their time. They give up their time to work for their own interests. And also they hire the family as we do. But they give themselves. Everything. Yeah. Every good thing must is a pricey. So when we what we ask you is this. Even those who are in the, in the Himaya Association, let's all stand up together and support this project. Because we are the first beneficiary of this project. We need to go into our pocket to die and give to sing pray for this project today we are going to dedicate the, uh, the gospel of Luke to new testament novel Caesar. Old Testament. Yeah, uh, pray God that in the near future we can have the New Testament. Full. Then after that we can have a full Bible. And, and as you know, it starts. It's, it's an away. Last night when I was sharing with the people, the team, they were telling us how it was very hard. Very hard. Read and read again, write and rewrite again. But they said that it was so fast than the way they thought when they began. They very optimistic that the New Testament and Old Testament is here soon. Let's put our effort in it and put our hands in it and pray. Thank you so much. God who did this and we continue to do so. Bless you. Thank you. Only three years, you can have a, a book. 
In the name of the Mahoro Peace Association, uh, we wanted to thank you. Uh, Kinyamurenge spoke, spoken, but it's regarded as a second, uh, almost as a second citizen language. But today, but it's official. Apostle Mikevani. Apostle Muzi Mikevani. Ufugani na wenye kuwa mnyaga chiroki. When you speak to him, you understand the value of this project. Ufuga kwa baswa basinzi la kubira kubarote. And they say that are um, idiots or foolish sleep so that they can dream. Ali kumnyaga wengine rota awo. But smart people dream even when they are awake. Kizini zozire zozike kire kire. This has been a long term dream. Trumpshim. We thank you. Umuanya mwenge. Now we are playing it. Now we are playing it. Now we are playing it. Now we we are playing it. Now we are playing it. Now we that in Mulenge, people were hungry. He brought just a little bit of seeds. Even when you now, when you ask even Bafule or other tribes, they will remember the seeds that he brought in Mulenge. To know how, what to do and the, when to do it is very important. It's very crucial. We thank the, uh, the team uh, that worked on this project. Naje, muzukuri mwa kumba kwa di kavera kumba kwa di kama tanga zo alikumu nufangi kura ni kwa zo. Now that kumba kwa di kizo kizo matwai. He writes he writes announcement or he's the secretary of Mahoro. Now he's going to be challenged to write in Kinyamulenge, proper Kinyamulenge. Uh, Association. We thank Nehemiah Association. Uh, we all know that we've been uh, through war for about seven years now. This uh, pastor's association has been very close to us as Mahoro. When uh, are hungry, they feed them. When they, are, uh, they, they don't have clothes, they close them. When children are started and they can't go to school, they send our school fees. Please let's come for that. Among these people, I will emphasize on missionaries. The church that he's part of, which is South East Christian Church. When in Bibogogo, which is a part of Mulenge, where you are from, when they, they, they did not have anything, any food to eat. South East. I want to say this so that you can understand. South East fed these people in Bibogogo for about a year. So thank you. And it's because of people like Missionary Muse Mikevani. We and, and that's why we want to encourage people who are part of any network, especially our, our pastors. These are your responsibilities. If you have if you have any projects in Burundi or in Kenya, and it doesn't reach or it doesn't know it doesn't reach people back home just so just so you know that you are lacking something. Mahoro sent me. It's, Mahoro supports you. He will always support you until this project is completed. Another thing it's also to encourage people, to challenge people to expand their thinking. There are so many things that we have yet to do. Let's not, let's not fight in one corner. Let's, let's expand our capacity to think and do other things. Especially back home, so that we can advance by your Thank you so much. We bless you.
Silva. Thank you very much for everybody who um, just spoke. These are amazing speeches. We would just love to keep hearing it. We are here to share our experiences. And we had so many other people that wanted to say something, but you know that time is money in this country. Let's uh, keep, uh, keep move forward. People are starting to wonder where are those books? Isn't it? People are wondering where are the books? We keep hearing it, keep seeing it one here and one there. But you know we can't lie, even if we had to lie, we can't stand here and lie. Let's uh, call the following names. There is one thing that we wanted to do, but because our schedule is tight, we kind of missed that, but we are going to do it. It's very, it's very challenging to actually walk up everybody from different corners. And we don't want you to think that just because we welcome somebody, we missed on you. But to make sure that everybody feels valued and honored, we are going to welcome Jose Mikewani so that he can go ahead and, and welcome everybody. We want to, act, uh, to uh, call on people who, who represented their nations here. People who are uh, representing continents. Here we have, here we have Honorable <laughs> from Europe. He's representing the continent of Europe. We have Australia. We have our sister Maombi who's coming from Australia. Uh, We have somebody representing the continent of Africa. We set up from Africa, please uh, come forward. We have one of my towers, my mona. Okay. The car, the car to start with Dr. We are going to welcome Dr. Eliazar as well to come I will ask again uh, the representative or the president of Nehemiah to come forward. The Karelo to Sabe, Bia Tabrero Abitus and Hano, Ambassador to the Kuyazo. The Kusabi put a figure this is uh, a word from uh, Muse, uh, Apostle Victor that is going to just honor the presence of everybody here. Yeah. So we praise God that you are reaching the time where we are going to end the first round. So we were waiting that everybody can get here and we can welcome all of us together. Because so honored that we welcome each and everybody. Those who came from different states. By a special way. It's one church I want to I welcome to the special state. Uh, from the other state. The church from Greenfield, Indiana, they came. 
Please, if you can stand up where you are. La pastor, and also, Pastor, please. They church really involved and put their hands on this project. So they signed almost five years to support this project. So you are one of us. So we might not name each name. So if we do so, we might left somebody. And maybe you might be hurting because we didn't send your name. But we welcome all of you. And we are so happy for you. Those who came from different states. Those who came from Louisville. You thank you so much. May God bless you. Thank you very much. And uh, there is a complaint that we didn't want kids to be in this room. You see that the, the, the room is full of people. But we want the kids that actually were part of uh, the Bible. Jesus film to actually come forward. Everybody who was part of the Jesus film, please come forward. The kids. Uh, let's ask uh, Pastor Ruganza. Pastor Let's ask Pastor Ruganza. 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 Let's ask Pastor One. We want to officially um, declare you call, we won't see we that today, Saturday, <laughs> on the 27th. 2024. We launch officially the book of Luke in the Kinyamure. We are going to say that we we want this book to reach this generation, the generations to come. Let's help the kids uh, give out the books. And let them know that this is their responsibility is on their shoulders to continue this legacy. Yes, Okay, Is the Robert, Robert who translate. Can we have Pastor Robert, who is part of the translation team? This is the book of Luke that we have handed out. But when somebody is older, usually they have a sibling or a younger sibling. So we want you guys to discover is what is part of this package. And we would love Pastor Robert to show us what is uh, to distribute 
qui vient. Marino envelope Harimo Ivitawa Vitatu. In this envelope we have three books. Harimo Ivitawa Charuka. We have the book of Luke. Harimo Ivitawa Trufka. We have the book of the alphabet book. Harimo Ivitawa Jopi Gano Sobiki Yamare. And the book of reading and writing in Yamare. Harimo Nutrete Tupaba Navatoya. We have a pamphlet as well. Nidu Tatu. It's three. Ariko titwaso yetwinshi. We did not release a lot of them. Kwagi yetushiramo kamwe kamwe. We only put one at a time. Ariko harike kizaza tukagiru tutabo twinshi kuba na benshi. There will come a time where we have a lot of little books here and there for children. Murakoze. Thank you so much. Murakoze chane, mbele yuko asubira yu. Before they go back to their seats, people who are representing different continents, we we have a flash disk for them. We will give it to them. So that they will take with them um, a soft copy so that they can print as many as they want once they go back home. And if you are going back to Congo, print as, as many as you can. In Europe as well. Same cases in America. Everybody, please let this book reach everyone. Thank you so much and God bless you. Please come forward as well. 